Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Southern Tea Time. And in today's video, I will be showing you how I'm going to be setting up my nephew. Um, his name is Anderson and he is in the ninth grade. And I'm going to be putting together his um, 2019 planner lineup. He will be using the um, kids uh, planner kit and he will also be using the teacher planner as his social media planner and I'll go more in detail into that and um, if you want to continue to watch how I put this together I suggest you stay tuned all right so let me give you a little background of how this came about my nephew over the weekend um, came across my planner of course you know I always carry around my planner and um, he came across my planner and I was just showing it to him flipping through it showing him how I was doing things and he was very intrigued by it that he wanted one for himself um, when he learned that I was on YouTube doing planning he also let me know that he was also on YouTube but he's a gamer he is of course a boy He's on there and he's doing video games and that's what he does. So he said he wanted to have something like mine and he wanted to know if I could do that for him. So, of course, Auntie had to say yes because it lets, it allows me to play with planners. And these are planners that I already had. I already had these. I picked this up um, a few months ago from Michael's and they had the whole kit, the whole um, kids planner kit. For three dollars and fifty cents so i went ahead and picked up some because i was going to gift it to some little boys but um my nephew saw it first and so he wanted it so i thought i'd go ahead and use it i do have two of these this is one that i only had um i only unboxed for this video for right now but i will be combining he will have three one two yeah he will have three excuse me three planners for his planner lineup he will have two of these and then he will also have um, the teacher planner, I also had this. This was an extra teacher planner that I had that I converted from the happy planner and I converted it to fit in my A5 planner, which um, I just sliced down the edges of the happy planner and then I just hole punched um, the three holes on each side. I just hole punched those to fit in my A5 and they fit perfectly. And since I was, and since I had these and wasn't using it because now I'm embracing the rings and I have my teacher planner as my social media planner and I have combined that in my 2019 lineup, which I will also link somewhere up there or something. I may put a little tag up there so you can go check that video out later. But I also will be using that, but I'm using mine in the form of the rings instead of I mean the disc instead of the rings. So I'm going to be converting this back to Happy Planner. I did do a test page on this to just make sure that it fits because I didn't want to slice it down anymore with the three holes because it's, it was already um, going into the boxes. So I went ahead and repunched them just to test it out and it fit perfectly even though the other holes are there. Um, it still holds and stands. So I'll just go back and repunch these. Um, with my um, Happy Planner Punch. I'll just be repunching those, these pages. And then um, I'll also take the other planner out and unbox that. But I want to do a quick flip through, if you do not mind, you guys, of this planner, just to kind of let you see what all is in this. And if some of you have seen this already, I still hope that you stick around just to see how I come about putting his planner together. And it's pretty, pretty much almost like mine. Um, but it's, it's his planner. And so I wanted him to have his own little uh, video <laughs> and let him see how I do it. So he said he will go back and look at my video to see how I put it together. But he know, he said he know he's going to love it. So I'll just do a quick flip through of this for you. And I know that I have a pretty, I have um, some new subscribers. So if you're new to my channel, this is your first time seeing this video or any of my videos. I just want to say thank you and welcome. And um, I always like to do flip throughs so that you can get inspired or get some inspiration from this flip through um, just to see what ideas you can have. Normally with the plant, all plant, all planners, you get um, a letter from Stephanie, just welcoming you to your new happy planner. And then this is the welcome. This happy planner kid edition belongs to. And of course, he may end up drawing his name. And I don't know if I mentioned that he is also an artist like he draws very well. And so what I told him he can do if he does not like the cover, 
he can go ahead and create a page um go ahead and try to do it in this size create a page um go ahead and drop something color it and do whatever he wants to do with it and i will laminate it for him and punch it so that he can make his own covers if he does not like this but i think this will still work for him because he'll still probably end up drawing something here so let's go ahead with this flip through you have the two years at a glance 2018 2019 and I think it's really cute. Like this is my first time actually looking through this because like I said, I still had this in the box. Hadn't even taken it out. So this is my first time seeing this as well. So you have your August currently page here. And then you have your August dashboard, which I think is really cute. It has the little orange foiling on it to make the flames kind of sparkle a bit. And then you have your August monthly. It has goals, readings, and he loves to read. So this would be really good for him. And it says, be true to you. And then his wish list, so he can write down things that he may want to purchase from his allowance on there. And then this is, this is what we call the horizontal layout. And then, um, I love the colors in there as well. And, um, I like a little checklist so he can pretty much put his schoolwork in this. And I don't know how he's going to use this planner per se, but he, I know he's going to use one for schoolwork. Um, his brain dumps, he said, um, different ideas that he come up with for his drawings and different ideas that he come up with for his YouTube channel, for his gaming. He wants to have like a brain dump. And then, um, of course his social media planner that he'll have. So this is, this is how much, this is what it looks like. I like that it has the joke time in there. Um, where do rabbits go after they get married? And then the answers on the bottom, it says on a bunny moon. So there's just cute little jokes for kids on there. And I'll just do a quick flip through that September, October, uh -oh, November, December. And then we enter into uh, January 2019. Yeah, 2019. And then February, March, April, May, June. And July, never give up. So I'm loving these little kid planners, especially the boys. I did t check out the girls planners in which my daughter has one as well. She will also um, be checking that out as well. But this is the boy edition. Of course, like I said, I have two of these. He will use one as a brain dump. All right, guys, so I am back. I have put together his my nephew's planner and I'll just show you what all I've done. I really didn't do much. I went ahead and unboxed all of them, took them all out, um, replaced the yellow disc, which are plastic discs. I replaced those with these nice sturdy metal discs because I know he's a boy and even though it has hearts hopefully he doesn't get picked on at school for that but because they're metal discs I know that they'll be durable and um, it should be protected while it's in his book bag or when he carries it to school but um, because he has two of these planners it did come um, each one came with one of these little tabs with the sticky notes so I thought that this would be good for him to either pre-plan ahead of time and put little notes on there so I just stick these two in the front and I also Franken plan his planner and I did the transformer method um, in this as well. So I will show that to you as well. So what I did, I took, I put in a folder that I already have. This is part of the teacher planner folder and the stickers that come with the um, kids edition sticker book. I just gave that to him. I know um, he does one of these sports. So please forgive me if I can't remember what sport he is actually doing but I figured he if he wants to kind of put those down he can have these to use as well and then of course whenever he has no school field trips class parties practices if he goes to a friend's house he can always put that down on there and it is boy friendly as you can tell by the colors and then those are some of the other stickers there he loves to read by the way as well so I know that he will probably put that down as far as like part of his reading um, to keep a track of his like a book log so I just thought I'd put this cute little folder in here, not only to hold his folders, but if he has homework or anything that he wants to put in there, certain drawings, papers that he does, he can um, put it on there and it's actually two um, double sided. So he'll have two 
um, ways to put those in there. So that's that. And then, of course, I kept in the Hello Happy Planner. Um, I would suggest for him he can either put his name here and then put whatever he wants this section to be. If he wants this to be his brain dump, he can put brain dump here and then his name. Um, just to kind of um, divide the, the planners because they are they are the same and they have the same cover. Just kind of give it some a different feel when he opens it. So if he has it open like this and he opens it up. And this is his brain dump section, but he really wants to go to his homework section or schoolwork. And it doesn't say that and he knows he can flip to his schoolwork section. So this is his brain dump or schoolwork section here. And I only took out um, August through November. So now he only has December all the way through July, um, December 2018, all the way to July 2019 in here. Um, because with both with both of them, with all the dates in it, it was too, I couldn't put anything in it after that. So, um, when he flips over, this is his social media cover um, because it is the teacher planner. So, that is one way to give it away. Um, he can draw whatever he wants to do on that cover as well. Um, I, but he'll probably end up drawing on this and then making that his cover so that way he knows which is which. And then, of course, it has this page. It doesn't have a welcome to page on there. Um, but if I do find one, I will put that on there or he can make one himself. He is very, art. he has, he's, he's an artist. So I know he will come up with something. And so this will be his social media page. And I got it starting from November, just in case he wants to backtrack for his social media stuff. And then I have December of 2018. And then it goes all the way from January 2019, all the way to July of 2019. And then he's back to the same cover, but this will be for his schoolwork. So he will have his schoolwork section here and it is just pretty much the same as this. And so the transformer transforming method or transformer method is he's able to have um, not only one cover, but two covers. So you have this cover here and then the back matches this page. And then when he wants to open up his social media page, he flips it open, pull it up. And then he has just his social media planner. And so the front cover matches the back cover. And then if he wants his schoolwork, again, he just flips it over and it will be his school cover page. He flips it over and it's the same. Now, the only thing with this is when it's like this, when he opens it up again, it will also match this. So um, that's why I put these two in the middle so that it would um, divide the two of them up so that when he goes back and flip it around to this side here because the sticky notes are here then he knows that it's school work planner social media planner brain dump planner. so that's how i was able to transform his planner um, into three planners in one and even though the little divider stick out i think that's still fine because it helps you to grab your section as you need them so I hope that you did enjoy this uh, video and um, I will try to see if I can do a review for my nephew or if he wants to do a review, if he likes this way or if he wants to do an A5. But I think more he will probably stick with this because it gives him more flexibility to add things as he need to. And then when he gets done, he can either take out December or November, December and make more room for other things that he may want to add. And I think with the A5, it just it won't be feasible for him because it is not big enough to put all of these in one. So I like the chunkiness and everything. And so again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.